Hey friends, today I am hanging out in Epcot's World Showcase. I've always thought it was fascinating the things that you could buy here and I thought it would be a cool video to go around to the different countries and search for the most unique cool thing that you can actually purchase. So, let's go do this. I think we'll start towards Mexico this time. There are a lot of good things that we can buy over in that pavilion. Now, I wasn't thinking of anything in particular. It could be food items, it could be something to wear, something you can collect. I just always see such strange things. I have a couple in my mind and I'll show you a little bit and then hopefully decide to buy one in each of the countries and have like a really nice collection of unique gifts from the World Showcase. A couple people found some interesting things to buy in there. Did you guys just buy those in there? Yeah. Wow, you look fantastic. <laughs> it's hard to label things unique or strange or even cool because you know what I think is cool is probably not cool to other people but it goes off my opinion like if I think something's unique that I'm like wow I can't believe I can buy that in Disney World or something's cool like oh I would actually want to wear that then that's what I'm gonna go with look at all of the things that you can buy in here we have one shop there another shop right there and then three or four of these stands that are just out here in the middle Lots of things to explore. You can pick up some of these amazing Oaxacan wood carvings and look at all of them. Some of them are so unique, including that gigantic flamingo in the back there. I really like it. That kind of looks like that phantasmic dragon. All of these wood carvings are handmade using a machete. I think that's really cool and some of them are pretty pricey and valuable. Look at some of them down here in the case. That is $1,800. This one is $2,000. They're really pretty and fascinating though. I wonder how much this one is. Oh, this one's $1,000. It's pretty big. The wood carvings are definitely unique and rare, but there's a couple of other things in here that I think are kind of fancy. For instance, you can buy a pinata in here and they're only $8. $8 for a pinata, that's a pretty good deal. Also, take a look down here. They have a couple of toys, including a Jacob's Ladder. Look at that. How much is the Jacob's Ladder? I gotta find out. I'm gonna buy an open. Oh, yeah, this one's unopened. It's $5.95. That's a really cool deal. Do you ever see one of these work? <laughs> I don't know why that gets me so excited. Oh, look, it's doing it again. And then we'll do one more. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> For five dollars? This is tons of fun. Another cool thing they have here is a glass shop where they're actually blowing glass in here. And I noticed something in the back that I thought was kind of rare and interesting as well. Look at these cool fans over here. I think these are handmade because they're not done by Disney, but they do say Epcot on it. So like you see, that's the old Epcot logo. And uh, yeah, they look like, uh, let me see. They're $19, but look at the price tag there. Kind of uh, looks a little old. I like these. That reminds me of the Grand Fiesta Tour, that one scene where you go underneath the bridge. I think these are really interesting actually. That's what I went with. I got the fan. I think it was just really interesting and cool. I would have gotten one of the wood carvings too. Some of them are a little small and they're about $35 a piece. I think those are rare, but I really like that fan. I thought it really stuck out to me. So yeah, that's my pick for Mexico. Now I think we'll just move right along to the Norway Pavilion. There's a lot of cool things to buy in here and there's something I already kind of have in mind. It is home to the last troll from the Maelstrom and I love coming in here and just seeing him and getting a photo. There's the big guy himself, but you can also get yourself some snow boots here. Look at that. I wonder how much these are. $150. They look very fancy though and I know that people like this clothing line. Isn't he just so cool looking? And fun little fact, you can take a troll home from the Norway Pavilion. I'm gonna show you some because I think these are really nifty. Look at these fancy little things. You can actually buy these and take them home. You can get a troll family or just a nice little troll couple. This one says $85, but also I like this stein. This is $75, look at that. And you can also get one as like a bottle saver. You can put your little Viking hat on your bottle. 
This is super cheap, only $14.99. But I'm interested in the trolls. I think that's awesome. Look at all of these amazing trolls. I like that one back there. He's like really scary, the big one. I wonder, it kind of looks like a scarecrow. But these are really, really cool. And they used to come in those boxes, I would guess. I definitely might want to get one of these. These trolls are amazing and they're only $85. I really think that's awesome. On the back it gives you information. They are handmade by a Norwegian artist. And I even, like I said, like the sign. So now I feel tough because these aren't the things I was thinking about when I first came in. I was actually thinking about smelling like Norway. You can actually buy the essence of Norway. They have a perfume for the ladies and then the power of Norway, a cologne for the men. This is really, really good stuff. They have it in deodorant, lotion. They even have a candle. I really love the smell of this though. So I wish there was a way you guys can smell it. But they didn't invite smell -o vision yet though. That was very interesting. I'm really obsessed with the trolls, but they only had the family trolls and then the couple troll. And I kind of want to just have a single troll kind of like to represent myself. So they said that they will actually keep an eye out for one. Right now they have a very limited supply and just those ones. And uh, I'm definitely going to get one if I can get my hands on a single one. And, but I did walk out of there with something. And it actually didn't cost me a dime. It is the power of Norway. They gave me a little sample, so now I can smell like Norway. How cool is that? It was free. So now I'm smelling fresh and feeling good, and we are gonna proceed to China. They have multiple really cool things here, including these little guys. $43 for the flamingo. Can anybody walk them? Look at, bum bum bum. Just me doing my thing, going about my business. But this is just a small stand they have out front. What they got in the back, it's gonna blow your mind. I would walk right through here, but this is uh, temporarily used for the Frozen attraction. So this is the queue to actually ride Frozen. So we will go up the side here to the House of Good Fortunes. Look at all of the treasures in here. <laughs> We've got massage tools. Look at that. Oh wow, what is this thing? They also have swords and daggers over here. And nunchucks. If you end up buying any of those swords or daggers, they have to be shipped home. You don't actually get to take them out in the park with you. Just so people can't be running around with a weapon, you know? They also have a variety of kind of special chips here. These ones are coffee and udon tea, Lay's chips. I've never seen that before. To me, I think that's very interesting. They also have squid, tomato, barbecue. Over here, I think they have wasabi chips, yeah. Wasabi chips. This one is the braised pork flavor, and they're just about $5 a bag. I think I might get myself some chips. I think if I end up getting the coffee and udon tea chips, I might need to get something to wash it down with. So we'll uh, get ourselves a nice Chinese beer. And they have some good ones here, even some baijiu. I always like to get myself either a Buddha or a Sing Sao. I think you guys have seen my videos in the past, but I do like the Lucky Buddhas. They sell these in Publix and stuff like that. It's not really hard to find, but I like them a lot. Look at the bottle. But also, they have shots of Bai Zhou over there. I've had one of those and I really do like it. I couldn't wait. We're gonna try these chips now. I'm excited. Like, I like coffee flavored. Uh, things so I'm sure I'll like coffee chips. Oh wait. Oh Yeah, oh I can smell the coffee as soon as you open the bag. I might love these. I'm like telling you right now There's nothing on them like you can't see money like seasonings or anything like that, but these might be my favorite chips. Oh boy They are definitely so Amazing, I love it. It's like kind of sweet. Maybe that's the, 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 the tea I would say. I, I can't get enough of them though. I'm gonna eat this whole bag right now. And the Lucky Buddha is always delicious. This is one of my favorite beers, but this isn't really like unique. You can buy this at Publix. You might, maybe you can buy those coffee noon uh, tea chips at Publix too, but I've never seen them before and I enjoy them a lot. 
That was delicious. I'm so happy I discovered those chips. They were probably one of my favorite chips. And now I think we're gonna head on into Germany. I'm finding so many nifty things. Like I said, I'm sorry if it's like not nifty or cool or unique to you, but to me, I love doing this. I love exploring the shops and just seeing things that, you know, you don't normally see, like to me. And now we are in the Germany Pavilion. I'm excited to see all the cool things we'll find in here. I love it over here. This is one of my favorite pavilions just because of the theming. They have their own Christmas store here. And that's cool because you can get yourself a little pickle ornament from here. Look at the pickle tree right here. And they actually give you a little background on that. According to German tradition, the pickle brings good luck. Isn't that fancy? It's the last ornament placed on the tree. Other than pickles, they have a lot of cool like Disney Germany uh, merchandise here that I really like, like this pillow and then these sweatshirts. Guten Tag. I really, really like almost everything in here. <gasps> Wait a second. Is that a hat? <gasps> it is a hat. It's a Germany hat. Oh boy. This is too good. I really, really like this. What do you guys think? Look at it. Isn't it so awesome? Uh, anywho, I, I'm trying it on, so I'm, I'm buying it. It's already bought, and I'm definitely getting it because I'm not going to put it back on the shelf. So I'm happy to actually get this. So I'll be a proud owner of a new hat. Isn't it adorable? They also have some cool beer garden like merchandise, including a beer garden boot and a stein. Don't be a brat, it's Oktoberfest. Other than fancy hats, they have some pear brandy. Look at this, a whole bottle and there's a gigantic pear in there. I wonder how much this is, it doesn't give me a price, but that is pretty fancy. Also to go with the pear brandy, they have tons of different steins. I've always wanted to start collecting steins. For some reason, they really stand out to me. Look at this. <laughs> How much are these? Oh, these are $89. I mean, they're very classy though, so I could see they're worth it. Oh, and the pear liquor, it is $73 a bottle. But look at all of them there. It really does look cool. All right, guys, this might be one of my favorite purchases right here. <laughs> I feel so fancy now. It really does. It fits great. It's very sturdy. And this is made by Disney Parks, which is it's kind of funny because this is one of the best fedoras I think I've ever gotten. Like the quality of it, I can feel how sturdy this is. This will last a while if I wanted to wear it in the parks all the time. So I'm very happy with this. Now let's head on into the Italy Pavilion. They have a couple good shops here. A lot of the things are closed down still, but there's still a lot to actually be seen. Once everything opens up a lot more, maybe I'll come back out and explore a little bit. They sell a lot of interesting things in here, including some colognes, but nothing as good as the power of Norway. They also sell a bunch of different masks, and some of these are kind of frightening, but really cool at the same time. Like, look at this moon. I really like it. It's, uh, how much is that? Oh, $216, and then that bowl up there. That's so awesome. Oh, they have a unicorn over there. That unicorn is very shiny. Look at that. It's $500, and that's real silver and uh, crystals on there. And then also, look at these masks. They're kind of funny. There's an Easter Bunny one. These are really, really awesome. Those masks are really awesome, and some of them are kind of frightening, but I love them. A little bit pricey. Uh, some of them are up to almost $1,000, but I can see the uh, craftsmanship that went into making them. They have a lot of cool houseware like stuff in here and it's Mickey themed and it's Italian themed. I'm liking these salt and pepper shakers because I actually need a set. I don't know how much they are though. That one, do I always just pick up the one that doesn't have a price? I did, it's $16.99. But look at the little Mickey on there, isn't that cute? I think I might actually get two of these. This is a set for $17.99. I think I might get this instead of the salt and pepper shakers because these aren't a set, so I'd get two identical ones. And this is, I think, a better value. I like this. Yeah. Now I'm the proud owner of some Bon Appetit oven mitts. 
how fancy. I love it in there. There is a lot of good stuff, but I still can't get over my fedora from Germany. This is probably one of the best purchases, like I said, I've ever made. We're coming up on the American Pavilion here, and I think we've done so well so far. I've got a new fan, I've got a new hat, I've also got uh, an oven mitt, oh, and a free bottle of cologne, The Power of Norway, and I haven't spent $100 yet. Doing good! There isn't anything at the American Pavilion we can shop for, but they do have the Art of Disney store, so maybe we'll just show a little bit in there. I mean, they're gonna have some really, really nice art pieces in here, but nothing that I can get, like, you know, anywhere else or at any of the other Art of Disney stores. There is a lot of really cool artwork in here. I love this Rocketeer one, though. That's pretty awesome. And then this stage Mickey one, I think that's actually cool, and I can see that hanging at my house. $4,000 for that one, and then this one is uh, $4,000 too. Not too shabby. They have some unique figurines, including Mr. Toad and a bunch of poor, unfortunate souls in pain. Like I said, there's not many of places we can shop here in the American Pavilion. So I think we'll just hop to Japan because that's next and uh, that's a lot. There is a lot of really cool things at Japan. This is actually going by very quickly. We're already more than halfway done and we're coming up on my favorite pavilion. Like I said, I love Japan. There's so much to do here. Videos like this are so fun for me to make. Not only do I get to explore more of the World Showcase, but I take my time and I piece things together and I look at things a little bit closer. I'm not rushing along at all. We've been here for four hours. I know you guys don't see that in the video because probably at this point, maybe the video's at like 14 minutes. So four hours I've been here and 14 minutes probably of footage and I love every single moment of it. So now we're gonna head right on in. And this one is one of the larger like shops at World Showcase, just as big as uh, China's is. Actually even bigger maybe. First thing I've noticed is all the Godzilla merchandise. Look at it. We have Godzilla figurines up here. And these are Godzilla shirts, aprons. Uh, I think this is a towel. I don't know what this is. Is that just a... I think it's like a towel, but I like it. It's very cool. Last time I was here, I pointed out a really cool clock that they sell here. I don't know if they still have it, but if they do, I'm going to show you because I thought that was really awesome. Oh, yeah, right here it is. Look at this. Ready? I'm going to play it maybe. Isn't that beautiful? I really, really love this clock. I think it's so amazing. They also sell bonsai trees, and I think these are real, real bonsai trees. Yeah, these are real bonsai trees. It's only $34. I would love to get a bonsai tree. That would be something fun. These are really, really cool. These are the featured item, and they're called Buddha boards, and you write with just a little bit of water, and then it disappears after a little time. Look at, so I'm gonna P, M, M. I like it. I am really torn between getting a Buddha board and a bonsai tree because I really, I always wanted to get a bonsai tree and I never got one so why not get a bonsai tree here at Epcot and uh, I've never seen a Buddha board before so I'm going to have to think about this. I feel like I'm leaning towards the bonsais and after reading this like kind of like agricultural restriction makes me really want to get it. So if you bought this bonsai tree here, you couldn't take it to California, Hawaii, or Puerto Rico. Doesn't that seem like strange? I wonder why. That's something I gotta look up, but I think I'm gonna a bonsai tree. I'm going with the bonsai tree. You can get a bonsai seed kit, it costs $15, or you can just buy one that's already done and all ready to go, you just gotta take care of it. And I think I'm gonna go with that. That's the one, Marv, the silver bonsai. This is the one I'm getting, look at this. I love it. I think it's so cool looking. 
I just bought my bonsai tree. I am so excited. They came, they took it away, and took it in the back, and they're gonna wrap it up and make it nice and secure. I'm so excited to have a bonsai tree. I am like pumped about this. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice and sturdy. Yes. Wow. Look at that. Now it's getting interesting because I'm carrying around a lot of bags and uh, we still have Morocco. Um, we have Morocco, we have France, the UK, and Canada left. So hopefully we don't acquire many too much things because I don't know how I'm going to carry everything and still use the camera. Now we are at the Morocco Pavilion. Unfortunately, this is another one of those pavilions that don't have many locations. I think we have this one and then maybe one in the back. So we'll see what they got. We'll browse around a little bit. They've got a lot of cool jewelry and different garments and merchandise. But one thing that kind of stood out to me was the plates over here. I thought these were decoration, but they're actually for sale. $19, handmade in Morocco. I really like that. Isn't that kind of cool? And they have little tiny canisters. I always thought these were just decorations, but you literally buy these here. They've got some bags over here, and then they also have some pins like a Morocco, Aladdin, Jasmine. Now, oh, and these are really cool. These are little music makers, and they attach to your fingers, and they go ting, ting, ting. And they'll be $9.99. I think I should get one of those. Oh, I wonder what these are. Like little tiny boxes. Oh, it looks like they open up. Hey! All right, that was pretty funny. It got me, but watch. We'll do it here slowly. Now that I know what's coming, <laughs> a little snake comes out and bites you. Whoop! Whoop! That's nice. He's only $14.99, handmade in Morocco. I got sold on the snake in the box. What can I say? That's too clever. $14.99? I'm going to have that laying around, and if anyone ever comes over my house, they uh, pick it up and just get curious, and then they get bit by the snake. That's hysterical. I don't think anyone's going to come over my house, though. Now we have made it to the France Pavilion, and we're going to go through the shops here. They have a lot of good shops here as well. Some of them have tons of different places you can buy stuff, and some of them only have like one or two stops. I do find it a little strange that almost all of the different pavilions sell cologne. <laughs> I don't know why, but this one sells makeup, even lipstick. They actually have create your own lipstick. I've never seen that before in the pavilion, so kudos to them for being a little bit different. They also sell a bunch of miniature Eiffel Towers here. Oh, these are light up Eiffel Tower souvenirs and they go by the size. So 9.5 inches is $49. I wonder where that one is because I only see one size here. But oh, never mind. I see a little one here. Did you see that? Oh yeah, I see this little tiny baby one and then these are the bigger ones. And they also sell boxes of soap. Look at these fancy things. They smell very pretty. I actually like the smell of these. I don't know how to put this back on. They got a big box. We'll slide that on. I wonder how much this is. $29.99 and then they got some little boxes here. And look, this is just the little tiny soaps in there. And this one's uh, $14.99. I like that. Another thing that they have over in the France Pavilion is a bakery that has some pretty delicious coffee and desserts or pastries. So maybe we'll get a coffee and a pastry. Oh yeah, much needed espresso. This is gonna get me to finish up. It's been a long, long day, a little bit hot out. I probably shouldn't have worn my black shirt. This bonsai tree is very heavy and I'm trying not to spill my espresso. We're gonna make it. Oh no, we're not gonna make it. <laughs> I didn't end up buying anything in the France Pavilion. There was a couple of things I thought about getting, like an Eiffel Tower, or they did have a nice, uh, like, uh, it was like a chef's oven mitt, but I already bought the Bon Appetit one, so I was like, oh, I can't get two oven mitts. And I ended up just getting a little espresso. So, cheers. It's hot, it's hot. Next stop, the good old UK. And I know they have a couple of spots here because I was just here the other day. I've actually been spending a lot of time in the UK. St. Patrick's Day, we had green beer. And then I ate at the Rosen Crown dining room the other day. So very familiar with what's open over here. The tea caddy is open and then the shop next to it. So maybe we'll get some tea. Lots of good tea offerings. And they have a little sign here that says, 
open the drawers and smell the flavors of the tea. And I was like, I don't smell anything, but they got a bunch of pillows down there. And then I realized they're talking about these drawers. How funny is that? I was like, well, I don't get it. <laughs> Lots of cool Rose and Crown things. Look at this United Kingdom Epcot World Showcase pint. I really, really like this. I think I'm gonna have to get it. $14.99, this was like one of the coolest things that popped out of me immediately. I was like, I don't think I've seen that before, so this might be new. They also have some Royal Companions here for $18.99. Oh, that's so soft. That's really cute. You see Minnie with her Royal Companion right there. I just had to get it though. I love it. I love the Rose and Crown. The Rose and Crown cup was the way to go. Not too many things open here either. Like I said, in time, more and more shops are open. Usually, the United Kingdom has like a whole entire other side here, but everything's still closed. But I'm happy with what I got because I think that is really awesome. This is what I'm talking about. All of these were stores that had different things. And they even had a sports store, I think. This is the one right here. But the only thing that's open is the one that we were just in. Only one more country to go. And I'm so excited to get home and set up my bonsai tree and figure out where I'm gonna put it. I wanna put it like probably next to my coffee machine so I can stare at it every morning. I think that would be fun and make sure it gets watered properly. This, is, this has been such a fun adventure. The only sad thing is, in Canada, everything is closed. The only thing that's open is this outside trading post. But there are some really unique things here that I've never noticed before that I was kind of just kind of going through real quick because I didn't know if I was going to be able to include it because I didn't know if there was anything to buy. I mean, yeah, they have some like cool Canada shirts and Canada hats, and they also sell some Labatt blue, but... I wanted something special. How cool is this? A gold or silver plated maple leaf. This is an actual leaf that is covered in gold or silver and used as a Christmas ornament, a natural Christmas ornament. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Very fragile they are, and I think it's uh, $23.95. I like it, that's pretty fancy. And with that, I think I am done here. I'm very happy with everything we bought today. Uh, I think I spent just around $150, which isn't too bad considering I've gotten all these amazing gifts. And a lot of that went to the bonsai tree. The hat was the second most expensive thing. I think this was $39. And then the oven mint was $17.99. And then... What else did I get? Oh, the uh, fan was $20. Oh, and the cup was $15. And, uh, oh, the clone was free. I have a good memory, I think. I think I did pretty well here. If I forgot anything else, let me know. And if you guys see something you wanted to buy, let me know in the comments what that was, too. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. All right, Gracie, meet Banzai. This is Banzai. This is our, our new friend of the house. Do you like her? What are you doing? Gracie doesn't like bonsai. <laughs>